you could find the background that might make sense for you. Um, and usually it'll say no copyright. And basically what I've done in the past and sometimes works is I'll get the video that I want and I'll download it by putting in the SS before the Y in YouTube. Most of the time this works. Sometimes it will ask you to download this thing, like the yummy video download or yummy or something, I don't know what it is. But most of the time it just pop up like this and you hit download. And then it'll say no copyright, whatever. Um, I already have my iMovie. Just going to drag it onto the desktop somewhere. Okay. And then I'm going to import that into my iMovie. And my iMovie is running a little slow as well. But as long as I can find the. Um, I want to make sure I have a desktop. And this is the one I just downloaded. I hit import. So now I have, sometimes I do that. A lot of people mess up the order. I do it all the time. So once I have it in, I should easily hit green screen. Now I have the backwards. Now it might be, you might have to adjust some things with this. You notice the background might not be as bad. All I did was hit the clean up button and now that light is controlled a little bit over this person and I can hit um, that. The other thing that's really cool um, is the speeds in iMovie. You can make them a lot faster or you can make them a lot slower. And it does change the voice of them. You could also do it in reverse if you had something in reverse. It doesn't really work for this video, but again, the biggest thing is when I have my green screen and I'm cleaning things up, okay. The other thing, make sure your background doesn't move. So you don't want to, you want to make sure it fits and it stays still. You don't want a Ken Burns effect. Make sure that's off. And make sure you use your cleanup tool.